Hi, we're from Notre Dame Prep, and it's time for another edition of State Champs! Champs is presented by Lawrence Technological University. Possible is everything. The Michigan High School Athletic Association, promoting the value and values of educational athletics. The Michigan Army National Guard, a proud partner and official military branch of the MHSAA. Michigan Student Aid, Michigan's go-to resource for student financial aid. Planning for your future, because your future begins now. Hungry Howie's Dough Raiser. Your next fundraiser comes with flavored crust. And Snef Camp Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. Come visit Telegraph Road's newest Dodge and Ram truck dealer serving Detroit. Welcome back inside the State Champ Sports Network studios on the campus of Lawrence Technological University. I'm Kier Hay, and you are watching Michigan's only statewide high school sports show, State Champ. That's right, I'm Lauren Plan. We're presented by the incredible institution of higher learning that is Lawrence Tech. This is your home for the best high school highlights, a dozen games coming your way over the next half hour. Big matchups in cross country, boys soccer, girls swimming, and our main event features a Southern Michigan matchup in volleyball between Temperance Bedford and Celine. That's right, on the football field, key divisional matchups taking place all over the state this week. None bigger perhaps than the one in the Mac Red. Two big rivals, two unbeatens, Chippewa Valley at Macomb, Dakota. Let's start the show right there. I'm Sean Belegian. This was the battle of the Chippewa Valley School District. We pick things up in the second quarter. Chip Valley and White driving. Tommy Schuster connects with the Michigan State bound Marcel Lewis for the 23 yard score. And that puts the Big Reds up 10 to nothing. Back comes Dakota with under four minutes left in the half as Dustin Solomon goes on in for the four yard score and the Cougars trail 10 to seven going into the half. Chip Valley would increase their lead in the third quarter Andre Chenault goes 37 yards down the sideline, untouched for the touchdown, and the Big Reds back up 17-7, 52 seconds in the final quarter. Chippewa Valley would strike again. Javon Kimpson takes it on in from four yards out. Chippewa Valley survives a late comeback from Dakota and beat their rival 24-17. Lauren back here. Detroit Cody and Detroit Mumford getting together for a crucial PSL Green Division showdown. Cody came in unbeaten, but they haven't beat Mumford in four years. Nice first quarter drive. The junior Alexander White finds the end zone. He also walked in the conversion. Cody up eight zip at the break. But the Mustangs executed the two minute offense and with seconds remaining in the third, the sophomore Bryden Vance is in. We had a 14-12 ball game into the final quarter. Four minutes left, game on the line, fourth down. Trick it, trick it. Direct snap to Delante Watkins. Struts in, Mustangs within four. 46 seconds left. Marquise Haynes will give the Mustangs their first lead of the game. And that's the way it would end. Mumford finds a way and defeats Cody 28-22. I'm Kiara Hay and we go to boys soccer on the west side of the state as Hudsonville Unity Christian was at home to take on the Maroons from Holland Christian. Unity Christian in blue, ranked second in Division Three, would strike less than two minutes into the game. Dan hooks him up with a nice cross to Chase Roosevelt, and the senior buries it top shelf for the goal to put the Crusaders up one to nothing. We go 20 minutes later, and Unity Christian would strike again. Caden Chaban plays it ahead to Evan Newenheist, and the junior puts it into the back of the net, and the Crusaders lead by two going into halftime. Holland Christian had its chances into the second half, but Unity Christian junior Grant Balser was solid behind the net for the Crusaders as Hudsonville Unity Christian goes on to shut out Holland Christian, 2-0 the final. We go back to the east side of the state for the first Downriver League Cross Country Jamboree hosted by Trenton High School at Elizabeth Park. We busted out the slow-mo camera for these cross country highlights and we start with the boys. Woodhaven won team honors with five runners finishing in the top 15. Individually, Connor Gutsfree of Southgate Anderson is in his second year of ever running cross country 
His off-season work paid off big time as he would go on to win his first high school race in this jamboree by 18 seconds. Let's take a look on the ladies' side. At the midway point of the race, we had Claire Schott of Woodhaven, Michaela Borg of Southgate Anderson, and Alyssa Lugie of Allen Park vying for the top spot in this race. In the end, it would be the freshman Luigi pulling away to win her first career race by eight seconds, helping the Lady Jaguars capture the first Down River League Jamboree of the season. Today we'd like to talk about MHSAA concussion protocols and an insurance program that the association provides for unpaid bills following a concussion. First, game officials have no role in determining whether or not an athlete has sustained a concussion. All the official can do is advise the head coach of the possible injury. School personnel, which have the ultimate responsibility for the child, make the determination to remove the player from the playing surface and, if necessary, from further activity. A student athlete removed and withheld from the rest of a contest may not return to play that day and is required to have an unconditional medical release to return after that. And for those families who have unpaid medical bills for concussions sustained during a school practice or competition after personal and school insurance coverage is used up, the MHSAA offers gap insurance of up to $25,000. Find out more about concussion resources on our website at MHSAA.com. One of the greatest benefits to the community is their high school sports, especially football games can bring in attention to causes like no other. We salute the schools who annually raise money and awareness for causes like breast cancer, childhood cancer, and heart disease. This time of the year and for the next month, games like the yearly Pink Out game at Wild Lake Western and the Pink Arrow Pride Week at Lowell High School are huge events. We had a blast last week at Lakeshore High School in St. Clair Shores for the St. Baldrick's Childhood Cancer Research Fundraiser. All of us at St. Champs send a huge shout out to all the tireless volunteers who work as a team with their local high schools to make the biggest impacts possible. Thank you. State Champs will be right back. I want to be a dermatologist, and though a lot of universities tried to recruit me for basketball, Lawrence Tech had the science curriculum that I wanted. LTU Southfield Campus is a great place to learn and the classes are small enough that I don't have to wait for office hours to talk to my professors. They're usually right by my side, challenging me and guiding me toward a successful future. Lawrence Tech, possible is everything. You've worked hard to raise your family and build a happy life for them. Don't let unforeseen circumstances jeopardize everything you've built. Planning for your future is a law firm that makes it easy and affordable to protect your family with estate planning, wills, trusts, deeds, power of attorney, minor, and elder care. The experts at Planning for Your Future will meet with you, prepare your documents, and make sure you understand what each does. So contact Planning for Your Future today to set up your free phone consultation, because your future begins now. You ready, Darius? Let's do it. Anybody want an autograph? Autograph? We're here for the stuffed crust pizza. Stuffed crust pizza? Hey, who do you think you are? End in the line, pal. Flavor fanatics love stuffing their faces with our stuffed flavored crust. Get one for only $2 more on any large original round pizza. Hungry? Howie's! It's DJ Cool Breeze, and back to the highlights. Sean Belegian back here in the mid-Michigan area. Grand Blank took on the Davison Cardinals for the first time in 10 years. Both teams came in undefeated at 4-0. Grand Blank would strike on the first offensive play of the game. Tyler Leadham hits Latrell Fordham across the middle and he would go all the way in for the 69-yard touchdown. Bobcats out to a quick 7-0 lead. Davison would answer with three straight touchdowns in the first quarter. Senior quarterback Cannon Hall takes off and he would race on in for the 90-yard score and the Cardinals led 21-7 after the opening quarter. More from Davison in the second. They had five rushing touchdowns in the first half, including right here on the 15-yard keeper from Hall, and that puts the Cardinals up 35-7. Right before halftime, Hall would go to the air. 
connecting with Max Slezak for the 28-yard touchdown as Davison goes on to beat Grand Blank 49-7. Cardinals now 5-0 on the season. We now go to the west side of the state as Kent City went on the road to take on Morley Stanwood. Kent City coming in at a perfect 4-0 and they would get it going in the first quarter. Check out Geo Weeks as he gets down the sideline, brushes off a few tackles, and he's in from 59 yards out to give the Eagles a 7-0 lead. Move to the second quarter with the game tied at 7. Kent City going for it on fourth down, and it's Weeks again refusing to go down, and he would go on in from 36 yards out. They were up 28-7 as we go into halftime, and it would be all Eagles the rest of the way as Weeks put on a show. Racking up five touchdowns on the night, Kent City remains unbeaten at 5-0 by beating Morley Stanwood 42-7 the final. I'm Kevin Trozinski, and let's go to volleyball in the Tri-Valley Conference as Freeland was at home to take on Birch Run. We picked things up in the first game, both teams battling here on this good rally. And the Freeland senior Taylor Backhouse is at the right place in front of the net to knock it home for the kill in the corner. Back comes Birch Run after another good rally. Alexis Lastly gets it over to McKenna Oberski and the junior slaps it home for the winner as the Panthers would take game one. But Freeland would then get it going. A pair of juniors hooking up here as Caitlin Pistro with the pass to Layla Rabicki whose spike is too hot to handle as they would even it up at one game apiece. And the Falcons were flying the rest of the way on match point. And it's Backhouse once again with the soft touch in front for the game clincher as Freeland goes on to beat Birch Run three games to one. Time now to take a look inside Lawrence Tech Athletics. Lawrence Technological University has just been named a five-star institution by the NAIA for achievement in character-driven athletics. The NAIA ranks its 250 plus member institutions for performance in training, promotion, conduct and competition and commitment to the five core values of the NAIA's Champions of Character Initiative integrity, respect, responsibility, sportsmanship, and servant leadership. LTU was one of only 12 NAIA colleges and universities to achieve a perfect score of 100 points in the ranking. And Lawrence Tech was the only NAIA institution in Michigan to achieve that mark. Lawrence Tech reintroduced a full intercollegiate athletic program in the 2011 school year and now offers 26 men's and women's sports, including the addition of a football team. And that's just one of the honors bestowed on LTU every year that includes the current 2018 Princeton Review that names Lawrence Technological Universities one of the best colleges in the Midwest. If you're interested at continuing your athletic career at Lawrence Tech, you can recruit yourself at ltuathletics.com right now. Lauren Plant here, and did you know that all of 24-7 sports top 10 football recruits in the state of Michigan for the class of 2019, six of them are either offensive or defensive linemen or linebackers. This prompted us at State Champs to take a stand and create a whole new award that recognizes these individuals. The 2018 State Champs Anvil Award competition is in full swing. If you go to our website, statechampsnetwork.com right now, you can vote for who you feel is the top guy in the trenches. The leading vote getter will always remain in our top 10 and will have an automatic berth into our final four. The four star linebacker and Penn State recruit out of West Bloomfield, Lance Dixon, currently leading the vote. If you're a high school coach out there with interest in being a part of our selection committee, please reach out to our sports editor, Matt Mowry, at mmowry at statechampsnetwork.com or just go to our contact page. Someone will walk away with the inaugural Anvil Award. Will it be Dixon or perhaps Belleville's Devontae Dobbs or Pawpaw's Carson Barnhart or East Kentwood's Logan Brown. Vote now at statechampsnetwork.com and check out our Extra Point podcast for updates every week. The ones who wake up every morning ready to take on the world. The ones who push their limits to be better than the rest. You're looking to join a team of leaders who want to be challenged. You want to be pushed to your limits. You value freedom and think you have what it takes. The ones with speed, strength, intellect, and determination. Michigan Army National Guard.
we see you. Are you stuck in your job? Getting frustrated playing the waiting game for the next opportunity to advance your career? Let Blue Chip Talent help. As an award-winning talent acquisition company, our specialty is matching candidates with careers in IT and engineering. At Blue Chip Talent, we take a laser-focused approach to reaching your career goals. We have access to jobs you won't find anywhere else to help advance your career faster and easier. Plus, we take care of you. Employees receive industry-leading benefits and competitive perks. Don't waste another minute worrying because we are ridiculously good at advancing careers. It's tough to improve on an original, and Sneth Camp is Metro Detroit's original Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram dealer. Lease the all-new 2019 Ram 1500 Bighorn Crew Cab 4x4 for only $79 a month for 24 months, or a new Jeep Compass Limited 4x4 at just $59 a month during Ram Power Days at Sneth Camp on Telegraph at Plymouth Road in Redford. Sneth Camp, Metro Detroit's original. Sneth Camp, Sneth Camp. High School! And now back to Highlands from State Champs! Yeah! I'm Mike Erlitis, we head to Pontiac, the Blue Devils of Lake Fenton, visiting the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame Prep. The Fighting Irish taking no time and getting on the board. QB River Shea scrambles out of the pocket and finds a wide open Clayton Bone in the end zone. ND Prep with a 7-0 lead after one. More from the Irish in the second. This time Shea takes it himself on the keeper, 63 yards for six more, ND Prep up 14-0. The Irish not finished yet. Shea finds Michael Winarski up the middle for another TD. Again, it's the offense from ND, and again, it's Clayton Bone. This time off the end around, he finds Pater as Notre Dame Prep rolls through Lake Fenton, 41-0, improving their record to 4-1 on the season. I'm Alex Sims from the Lansing area. Let's get right to the highlights. East Lansing hosting DeWitt. And here's a look at how packed this place was tonight at East Lansing High School. I think the whole town of EL was in attendance tonight. We picked things up in the third quarter. DeWitt with a 16-0 lead. And the Panthers in great field positioning. DeWitt's QB Blake Gatfield calling his own number here. A 28-yard touchdown run for Gatfield to extend the Panthers' lead. Now to the fourth quarter, DeWitt with a commanding 22-0 lead and adding to it here, Gatfield with a laser to Derek Hamp right into the end zone for another Panther 6. DeWitt beating East Lansing 37-0 to remain in first place in the CAAC Blue and Rob Zimmerman's 200th win of his career. Now to Portland, the Raiders hosting Lansing Catholic and the Raiders taking a commanding lead here with his big touchdown run. From Jacob Veal putting this Raiders team up 16-0 in the second quarter, but Lansing Catholic would fight right back with just a minute to go in the quarter. Josh Kramer takes it himself for the score to make it a 16-8 game. Lansing Catholic trying to put together a game-winning drive in the fourth, but they're stopped here on fourth down. Now they're down to their last chance, 20 seconds left. They throw a deep ball looking for a score, but it's intercepted by Hunter Homan. That seals it for the Raiders. What a thriller between two unbeatens. Portland remains unbeaten with the 16-8 win over the Cougars. Lauren back here and we go into the natatorium for an OAA girls swimming matchup. The combined squad of Farmington and Farmington Hills Harrison on the road to take on the Falcons from Birmingham Groves. Farmington finished third in the state a year ago. The clear individual star of last year's finale, Ashley Turek, four gold medals. The Harrison Dream Team are opening the night as the anchor in the 200 medley relay. Turek and her teammates starting off strong. For a time in D2, Groves used to be atop the mountain in the mid-2000s. Falcons won four state finals in a row. 200 IM, the junior Nicole Bastian the win. The Indiana commit Turek, reigning state champ in the 100 free, broke the Division I record in the 50 free last fall. Looking good, taking the 50 here. And the combined squad of Harrison and Farmington take the meet. Back in the studio now for another update in our Hungry Howie's Mr. Football race, Sean Belisian joining me. Hey, shout out to the fans out there. Well over 
12,000 votes have been cast thus far. The quarterback Sam Johnson out of Wall Lake Western currently out to a comfortable lead. Belleville's Julian Barnett was dealing with some injuries this season, but he's back now doing well, but he's falling out of our top 10 to make way for a young man who's doing a little of everything for the sailors of Muskegon, Mona Shore. He really is. Sincere Dent is his name, and he's making plays all over the field. This is a young man that's averaging about 12 yards a pop. Now you think about that, a first down and then some. He has 12 touchdowns out of the backfield as well. We also want to get an update on uh, what Dewan Mathis is doing out at Oak Park. Well, Dewan Mathis, I think everybody knows this story. This is a young man that I think a lot of people thought was going to end up in East Lansing for Michigan State. He ends up making the hard commit to Ohio State. He's got a rocket gun. And here's the thing. It isn't the Dwan Mathis show anymore in Oak Park. So I think that perhaps makes him even a little bit more dangerous when you move forward watching that Oak Park team. You Julian Barnett fans, not to worry. He's back on our watch list. He's an Under Armour All-American. If he's healthy and helping the Tigers achieve what they very well could achieve, he will be back in. All right, so if you want to ensure your guy stays in the top 10, you must vote and vote often. Go to statechampsnetwork.com right now. This is Alan True from 24-7 Sports with this week's State Champs Recruit Report presented by Michigan Student Aid. Southfield a and junior quarterback Anthony Rump has picked up some offers over the course of the offseason, but into his junior season, he finally added a new offer after schools were able to evaluate his first four games. The Pittsburgh Panthers were the newest one this week. The Panthers are his second Power 5 offer, joining Iowa State. Some schools liked Rump as an athlete because he has great foot speed, but his ability to throw the football has been on display so far this season, his first season as full-time starter, and that has impressed several new programs, including Pittsburgh. Staying in the junior class, East Kentwood offensive lineman Dallas Fincher visited Wisconsin last weekend, along with teammate Logan Brown, who was already committed to the Badgers. Fincher now puts the Badgers in his top three, along with Ohio State and Michigan State. His father played at Michigan State, but he's going to take a visit to Ohio State coming up, along with Penn State. For this week's State Champs Recruit Report, presented by Michigan Student Aid, I'm Alan True. Michigan Student Aid, Michigan's go-to resource for student financial aid. Go to michigan.gov slash mistudentaid for more information. Time now for the Great Clips Clip of the Week, and we go back to the Davis and Grand Blank game from earlier in the show. Davis and senior quarterback Cannon Hall had himself a night, here taking this 90-yard run to the house as they go on to beat Grand Blank 49-7. Clip of the Week is presented by Great Clips. It's going to be great. If you love high school football like we love high school football, you must check out our two weekly podcasts that dive deep into all of it. The Football Forecast is the best football preview show in the state of Michigan. It premieres Thursdays at 3 p.m. on State Champs' YouTube channel, as well as Twitter and Facebook. You can, of course, watch it on our website as well, which is statechampsnetwork.com. Extra Point is the Monday recap show that talks about all the big games from the weekend. Extra Point premieres Monday nights at 5 p.m. The main event is next, so stick around. I love working for Strike. I am genuinely excited to come to work every day. We support each other and look out for each other. I love Stryker because we are like a family. At Stryker, I own my career. There are so many different places Stryker can take me in the next five years. Together with our customers, we are driven to make healthcare better. Great people with a strong mission and values can accomplish great things together. I want a career in robotics and automation, so I chose Lawrence Tech for its first in Michigan robotics engineering program. LTU's brand new STEM complex has a robotics lab where we can design, build, and program robots in a creative atmosphere. And the best thing is, I haven't graduated yet, but I already have a job in my field. I know I made the right choice for my career. Lawrence Tech, possible is everything. Fundraising should be fresh, flavorful, and simple. We have the perfect solution at Hungry Howie's, Dough Razor. Your team or school can sell paper pizza certificates that can be redeemed for one medium pizza at participating locations. Hungry Howie's makes it easy. It's just a little mini pizza box, but we make lots of money, lots of dough. Go to DoughRazor.com to learn more and sign up. Your next fundraiser comes with flavored crust. 
Welcome to Hungry Howie's Dough Razor. Welcome back to State Champs. Our main event this week is in volleyball. The tradition at Temperance Bedford is really good. Division I state quarterfinalists a year ago, they are hoping to be one of the teams that can finally knock Novi off the mountaintop. Celine has a new coach and a fighting spirit. Anyone who saw last year's district semifinal match between these two schools know it was anybody's ball game. To Temperance, we go. Good matchup on the floor. Rivals Bedford and Celine in round two. Celine won four of five at the SEC Red Tourney a month ago until the kicking mules took them down. Celine coming in at 11 and eight, but play a tough schedule, all with the purpose of preparing for the postseason. Ellie Munn dishes to Kaya Sidlowski. That slam is unreturnable. Hornets out to the early lead. But the state-ranked honorable mention mules won the first game 25-22. Returning all-state honorable mention setter Levi Leonard in slow-mo as she sends a deep pass to the junior Alyssa Griner who pounds and grounds Mr. Wilson to the floor. Back and forth battle for that crucial game two victory. Celine's Pena knows she's got Julia Blaney at the side door. Blaney with the pass blast. But once again, Bedford would find a way to finish with 25 before their friendly foes. Leonard cooking up a seven course feast for her front court all night. Serving up this one to Cameron Wolf, who says, I don't mind if I do. 25 23 game two win. Kiki Mules, money the rest of the way. Match point, Leonard to Emerson for the exclamation point. Temperance Bedford sweeps Celine for a crucial conference W. Tell him, Carly. We were looking forward to this game all year. We knew that this was going to be the big one because in the SEC, they give us the most run for our money. We knew it was going to be a big deal. We knew we were going to have a lot of people out here, and it just it feels great. One of the best nicknames in all of Michigan high school sports, the Kicking Mules. You gotta love it. Thanks for watching, and please join us again next week. But in the meantime, stay connected with us on all of our social media all week long. We will see you. I'm ready to get after these people. Yeah, I'm ready to get after these people. State Champs is presented by Lawrence Technological University. Possible is everything. The Michigan High School Athletic Association, promoting the value and values of educational athletics. The Michigan Army National Guard, a proud partner and official military branch of the MHSAA. Michigan Student Aid, Michigan's go-to resource for student financial aid. Planning for your future, because your future begins now. Hungry Howie's Dough Razor. Your next fundraiser comes with flavored crust. And Sneth Camp Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. Come visit Telegraph Road's newest Dodge and Ram truck dealer serving Detroit.